Brother Jack, you're watching Lights Out TV. This is Lights Out. I am Fessam Khan, and I'm delighted to be joined by Danny Hodges. Danny, how you doing? I'm good, thank you. Excited about tomorrow. Yeah, big fight for a night. You take on Lisa Whiteside. It's her yeah. debut at the Lamex Stadium in Stevenage on the Billy Joe Saunders undercard. Uh, just talk to us about training, preparation, how are you looking to go into the fight? I'm normally in training all the time anyway, but obviously with this fight coming up, I've pushed it yeah. more and more. So I normally train like two to three times a day. So my run, my swim, and then my boxing work. Third fight of the year. I mean, how are you feeling? You know, you've had two fights. Yeah, I've had good, good winning streak. Um, yeah, and obviously we're coming off a, a good win. Um, looking to do the same again tomorrow. Just talk to us a bit about preparation for the fight. What are you doing different, especially with the fact that you're going in with a fighter tomorrow that's making her a pro debut? Um, yeah, she's making a pro debut, but she's definitely got um, boxing experience, good history in boxing with Team GB. Um, so bearing that in mind, I haven't took it lightly. Um, so we've been working on um, the skills, um, movement, my powers increase. Um, so just because it's a pro debut, we haven't took it lightly. We know she means business, but so do I as well. What can she expect from you tomorrow night in the ring? Because it's her debut, so she's obviously gone in there. She must be feeling, you know, slight pressure because her debut. Yeah, must yeah. Be kicking in as well. What can she expect from you tomorrow night? Um, from me. Um, just the normal Danny Hodges. I'm getting there, get the job done. That's what I do. You um, unfortunately lost your professional debut, but you've bounced yeah. well since that. Just talk to me about that experience losing on your debut, but having to sort of rebuild again. And um, yeah, my professional debut. Um, I had my first professional debut in Spain, um, and I lost that one um, against a 9 0 girl. Um, I really, I took the fight as an opportunity. I didn't really have much to lose from it, so I was just, yeah, yeah, I'll go ahead, give it a go. Mm -hmm. And then when I came back, um, I realised I needed to take this seriously. So I went to the British Boxing Board, got my British mm -hmm. license, so you said I'd be looked after properly and build myself up, mm -hmm. get some good training. It's and good advice. And if you're victorious tomorrow night, uh, what can we expect to see from the rest of you in 2019? What is it that you've got? You know, in your mindset, what would you uh, like to achieve? Wh whatever. Um, whatever happens, I'm always very locked out. I'm always in. People say, oh, how's this camp? How's that camp? It's not a camp, it's a lifestyle. So I'm always ready. Whenever that phone goes, regardless of who it's for, where it is, I'll be ready and on wait for that fight. So I hope you have a busy 2019 and a successful one as well. The woman boxing is growing massively now, you know, you've got Nicola Adams, Katie Taylor. Yeah. Are you looking at these fighters as an example and thinking that's where you want to be one day? Oh, definitely. Um, names like Nicola Adams, they're just like household names. Everybody hears um, certain men's names as boxers, just thrown about how like everybody knows who they are. But women boxers, people are like, you rarely hear their names. But Ad like Nicola Adams, Katie Taylor, the names that everybody's heard, it's just getting women's boxing out there and promoted. Growing up, uh, which fight is it that inspired you the most to become a professional boxer? Oh, well, you've got to I give think... us one name, come on. You've got to give us one name. Well, no. I suppose I've got to go through watching boxing as a kid and thinking, like remembering them on the TV and that it's probably Ricky Hatton's probably one. Um, and, I, um, and then probably a fighter that I do so I absolutely love to watch. Obviously like it's Lemachenko and then Manny Pacquiao, I'm just obsessed with his speed. Yeah. So yeah. No, they're all three legendary fighters that you just named it. Well listen Danny, thank you very much for your time. Good luck for Saturday night. I hope it goes as well. Thank you. And we look forward to having you again on Lights Out. Thank you. Danny Hodges, thank you for talking to Lights Out. Thank you.